Hey, here's one of the coolest scripts I've ever seen in Reaper. And as always, instructions on how to install it and all the relevant links will be below. But if you have Repack installed, MPL's repository will already be there. Nice and easy. You'll figure it out, I'm sure. Anyways, now I can open the action list and you wanna run this action, not the one that says background and you'll see why in a second. I'll double click to run the script and we'll see this window pop up. We have DB values along the Y axis and we have left and right along the X axis. So I can now select a bunch of tracks. For example, let's choose these six backing vocal tracks I got in this project right here. And we can now see these little square boxes pop up in this window. So if I press play now, Right now, everything is centered and at the same loudness, but I can now start dragging these boxes, kind of start to arrange these tracks. So moving boxes left and right will pan them and up and down will adjust their volume. Notice how all these changes are reflected on the tracks fader and pan knobs. And this is super useful because it kind of allows me to visualize the space of my mix, but also it's a lot quicker than, you know, doing this the old fashioned way with six faders and six knobs. Now there are plugins that do this too, like Isotope has a plugin of the same name, but this is much more nicely implemented into the Reaper workflow. With plugin versions of this stuff, you have to kind of place plugins on each track, and then you have a master plugin that controls all of them. And all of that is kind of a hassle. And of course you gotta pay for them. But with the MPL script, I can select any number of tracks and they're instantly there. It also shows you the name of the track, the color of the track. We can see the waveforms, which is super awesome. Let's also, for example, select the parent of these tracks. And we have this little strip below each of these boxes. And if I drag on this box, we will adjust the width of the track. Just like this. I also recently got chatting to MPL in the forums about this script and I had some ideas about its usability and MPL agreed and implemented all of them in like one day. And let me now show you some of the stuff that's now been added. In case you already had this script installed, make sure to go to extensions, Reapack, and synchronize packages and just update these scripts to be able to use the new changes. So first of all, we now have the option to marquee select a bunch of tracks. So I can left drag to select say all the three tracks on the left side. And now I can move all three together by holding command and left dragon. Don't forget to hold command. Also, if I hold option, AKA alt and click on any of these objects, I'd reset the volume and shift click is to reset the pan. Super useful. You also have these snapshots up here and you get eight per project. So once I have these six backing vocal tracks laid out how I like them, if I command and click on one of these snapshots, it will save them. So now let's select maybe these other five tracks. And one more time, command and click on snapshot number two. And I just saved those. And now just by clicking on one and two, I can recall that track selection and make fine adjustments if I need to. You can use this knob to resize the boxes, which if you have a lot of tracks selected, they tend to kind of go all on top of each other and it's messy. But if you make these boxes smaller, it'll be a lot easier to see those. I can use this other knob to scale the Y axis. So I get kind of finer control over the usable range of my fader if I need to. You can also resize the whole window if you need to. You can dock this window if you wish. And to do that, you have to run this other script called Visual Mixer Background. And on this version, unfortunately, you don't have the option to marquee select and none of the new hotkeys have been added yet. But you do have this menu icon up here and I can click on it. There's a donation link to MPL, but more on that in a second. And I can also just choose to dock this anywhere. So maybe let's hold command on the title bar of this docker and maybe drag it to the right side of our window, just kind of next to our mixer, real nice. And now I can run visual mixer once again, and that will be docked on the side too. Now, normally when I showcase scripts or JSFX, I tell you, instead of donating to me to go donate to the people who made them, right now it seems like MPL is unable to receive donations from PayPal. So I messaged him about this and I'll let everyone know if there's another way to directly support him. But you can also donate to Reapack from their website directly. As you can see, they have a monthly goal of $150. And really, if every one of us from this community who use these scripts every day just threw them like 10 cents or a dollar, they would easily surpass this monthly goal. 
And I really think that that's really something we should all do on a regular basis. Clearly, a lot of work goes into implementing these scripts, making them visually as awesome as this, and even hosting this website where we can easily access tons of these scripts and JSFX. So I'll also be donating all the proceeds from this video to support Reapack, SWS, and all the individuals who make scripts. And I highly encourage you, if you can, to also throw them a couple of bucks every month or whatever. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like and the bell and the fucking other thing over there so I can stop crying myself to sleep every day. <laughs> All right, bye.